Let's talk about breast calcifications, shall we? As I explained in an earlier video, mammography is one of the only imaging modalities that I'm aware of that can detect the microcalcifications, which can be the earliest sign of breast cancer, usually DCIS or ductal carcinoma in situ, which is stage zero breast cancer. But not all calcifications are bad. There are lots of types of breast calcifications, 14 of them to be exact and most of them are benign. They can be vascular associated with atherosclerosis and can be assigned to coronary artery disease. They could have calcifications from prior surgery called fat necrosis. They could be in the skin. They could be associated with fibroadenomas, or they can be associated with cysts, what we call milk of calcium. Suspicious calcifications tend to be in a linear, segmental, or group distribution and tend to be more fine linear branching or pleomorphic, which means different sizes and shapes. In order to further evaluate calcifications, we get magnification views so we can better see their size and shape and distribution. If the calcifications are new or suspicious or indeterminate, we have to biopsy them to exclude malignancy. We biopsy calcifications under mammogram performing a stereotactic core biopsy, which I described in an earlier video. If we are unable to biopsy the calcifications under stereotactic guidance, we usually recommend a surgical biopsy. Have you had breast calcifications? Let me know in the comments. I hope this was helpful. As always, follow the booby docs for more of the breast information.